Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the France Gymnasium for tonight's NJCAA Region 21 contest with the visiting Bunker Hill Community College Bulldogs and your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. The NJCAA Region 21 and Bristol Community College are committed to the ideals of good sportsmanship, safety, and fair play. We ask that all fans, coaches, and players show respect for the opposing team, game officials, and each other before, during, and after tonight's game. Thank you for your cooperation. And now for tonight's starters. First, for the visiting Bulldogs. At guard, a sophomore, number one, star, Bradham. At guard, a four, number three, Shea Ortega. At guard, a four, number 12, Adana Hector. At forward, a freshman, number 20, F.A. Aduji. And at forward, a sophomore, number 21, Lady Pana Guerrero. And now, for your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. At guard, a sophomore from Fall River, Katera James. At guard, our freshman from Fall River, Atia Rivera. At guard, a sophomore from New Bedford, Sarah Sagan. At forward, a freshman from Taunton, Massachusetts, Amaya Marshall. And at forward, a freshman from New Bedford, Abby Hurley. The Bayhawks are coached by Jay Hanley. And now, ladies and gentlemen, would you please rise for the playing of our national anthem by our own Lucy Cabral. Welcome in, everybody. How you doing? As we're broadcasting live from the France Gymnasium here in Fall River, Massachusetts. I'm David Cadoz. I'm here with Megan Holden. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> As we get ready for this NJCAA Region 21 contest, it's Bayhawks basketball here on FR Media. We're live streaming on our Bristol Community College Athletics page, and we're getting set to tip here as the women Bayhawks taking on the Lady Bulldogs from Bunker Hill. Abby Hurley set to tip. Well, looks for like the Bayhawks. It looks like uh, Bayhawks are without Vaughton again. Yeah, but yes, they are without Jada Fortin. Fortin. Their leading scorer. Bunker Hill got some scores on their team. Brad Hand is averaging over about almost 16 points per game. Yeah, Bunker Hill always giving Bristol a tough contest, whether it's women's basketball, men's basketball. Abby Hurley getting a set up, getting ready to tip against number 20, F.A. Aduji. And we're underway. Bristol in their gray. That's going to be a, a back and over. Backcourt violation on Atiyah Rivera. I'm looking for Marshall to have another big game. She uh, 
She came through last game with a lot of hustle plays, so I'm wondering if she'll get more minutes this game. Yeah, well, she's in the starting lineup, and like you said, Megan, she did have a very underrated game as the Bulldogs toss it inside. No good, and there's the inside presence that the uh, Bristol, at Bristol missed in the last game with Abby Hurley. As you can see her right there, get the rebound. Couple, uh, couple of sloppy rebounds there. Got to secure that ball better. Rivera swings it over to Katera James. Rivera gets it inside to Marshall. Marshall tried to put it up, but she got her shot blocked by number 21. Wasn't smart to do that. Guerrero. Double team. She should have passed it back out to Rivera. Cross court pass. Swing it to the top. Open, open look there and knocks it down. And it is a three. Rivera's wearing our favorite shoes again. <laughs> Adana Hector, that was Adana Hector for three. Katera James. And they're going to call a jump ball. I think it's going to stay here in Bristol's possession. I think uh, Bristol should just keep letting Hector shoot the threes. He's only a 27% three-point shooter, so averaging a little bit over one three-point. Uh, well, she knocked that one down, didn't she? Yeah, hopefully uh, <laughs> that'll be the only one tonight. I Can't want they get, it, they get it get in their faces. Cross court pass. Another open look. That one wouldn't go down, but the, oh, you get a box out oh, there. Yeah. James missed a, missed, a man, missed a woman right there. Effie Aduji with the putback. James looking to drive, going up off the glass and in. They need her to be aggressive. That was a nice play by James, recognizing the hole in a defense and just going going for it. Yeah, and they're going to need her to attack, Megan. She is, uh, she's their leading scorer right now, and she's their one of the returning players from last year's team. Nice floater in the lane there is good. Average almost 25 points a game. She's, she's definitely going to be looked to tonight, her and Rivera. Yeah, they're going to need to attack more. They're going to get it inside to Abby Hurley. Hurley off the glass and in. Nice little spin move there. Bristol needs to take advantage of the height matchup there. They actually have a height matchup today with Abby Hurley. Three-pointer. It's good. Wow. Adana Hector. I think she heard Shutting me. you, shutting I you know, up. I think so. As she knocks down two of her three-point attempts. If she, gets, if she gets another one, then I'll definitely say it was my, it's completely my fault. I think 27% is good for NJCAA. I'll give you and that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, see, we, Violation's going to be on Bristol. We see she's capable. The Bayhawks have to do a better job of closing out the three-point line. Yeah, they're leaving their girls, their gals wide open. The 2-3 zone, not, um, not rotating as good as it should be. Cross-court pass. Bulldogs doing a good job with these skip passes. Yes. And they're doing pretty good on off offensive boards. Taken away by number 24. Kicks it back out. Katera James for three. Can't get it to go. Abby Hurley is there. Oh, a little bit too hard. She rushed that a little bit. Yeah, she did rush that. Yeah, take your time with it. Kicking it to the corner. Nice little dribble move in the corner. No good. Bulldogs all over the offensive boards. Three-pointer from the top. Oh, sunk. Looked like she was fouled. Holy cow. Hey. Star Bradham. Branham's their leading scorer. You gotta, you gotta pay extra close attention to her. To take her out the game. Well, those are her first points right there, and that shot, that shot was pretty, by Star Bradham. What do you call it? three, three to the head? Katera James for three, can't get it to fall. Rebounded by Hector. Hector looking to push. Bounce pass to Star Bradham. Looks like she lost control of it. And they're going to say it's Bristol ball. Bristol's Number ball. 24 making her debut. For Bristol. Here comes Rivera. One good thing I could say for Bristol is they, they have a bench today. And they're a loss... And their loss last Thursday, they only had seven players. Long, oh, oh nice. long two by number 24. Her name's not on there. She must be a new contributor to the team. Already 
All right, putting ports on the board. Let's see, it's. It's Abby. Thirteen to six. Timeout on the floor. We're going to take a timeout here on FRC Media, your BayHawks Broadcasting Network. I always knew I wanted to go to college. I just didn't know how or when. Bristol gave me the flexibility to balance work, family life, and the things I love to do. I was able to transfer and get a bachelor's degree in the field I am passionate about. Bristol helped me so I can help others. Working as a mentor and a coach, I know I'm making a difference. And I'm able to show my kids and others the value of a college education. It's never too late. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. All right, back from the France Gymnasium. I'm David Cardoz. Alongside me is Megan Holden, broadcasting from uh, the pressure cooker. The pressure cooker. <laughs> They're going to need it to be a pressure cooker tonight. Already falling behind only nine points. They got to do a better Down job. Down by nine, but... I'm Hurley. optimistic because you got Abby Hurley. They missed her last game last Thursday. They missed that inside presence. They, they missed her. They definitely missed her on the boards, and they have a little bit of an advantage with um, Abby Hurley's height. Yes, they definitely have the size and the depth this game, but they need to take advantage of it defensively and play more aggressive. They got to get it inside. Marshall had her shot blocked. So as I was saying before, so Abby Siopa, number 24, is actually making her debut today. We have not seen her. Nice way to start with a three. Well, just inside the three. Oh, getting inside to Hurley on the nice. inbound pass. Nice inbound play. Nice heads up play there by Marshall. Nice pass. And it's 15-8. Just keep doing that all game and get back into this. Do not Great do that. pointer coming off. Got to get on the boards. Yes. Bristol. Bunker Hill just coming up with the 50-50 balls. They kick it back out, three-pointer. Off the glass and in. Holy cow. Number 20, F.A. Aduji with the three, but did she call glass? <laughs> she called game. They get it inside. Hurley pounding it inside. Another errant shot by, by Hurley. And now the Bulldogs, led by Star Bradham, their leading scorer. Hurley has to do a better job defensively of finding, finding uh, And they're going to call an offensive foul there. Getting a the box out. Yeah, Bristol Bristol as a whole, they have to do a better better job. They can't give Bunker Hill, who's a good team. Space. Yeah, they can't give them. There's a th that's a long okay. three, but oh, way wow. off the mark. Hurley does a good job to one hand. They kick it back out to Katera James, who can't knock it down. So this not going in for James so far tonight. I was saying, Bristol needs to do a better job at boxing out. Yes. On the break, putting up off, oh, the miss. Nice rebound to Rivera, pushing it up. Rivera needs to slow it down a little bit, and she's going to get fouled. Rivera was actually Bayhawk Athlete of the Week back in, uh, in mid-December. So she's definitely capable of leaving this team. She definitely is. I mean, you look at this team. With a Tia Rivera, Katera James. They're two of the top three leading scorers on this team. Like, like we said earlier, Jada Fortin, who's averaging over 35 points a game for Bristol, as Bristol misses there. Oh, they, nice miss, steal. they definitely miss her scoring punch. That was a nice deal by Rivera and diving for the ball. Eighteen to eight. Bristol just needs to keep this one close for a little while. Well, they, they got to start off defensively. They're allowing too much space and they're not boxing out long. Many opportunities for the offense to get a basket. Deep three by KJ. Misses. Sioper there. Tipped. And it's going to be out of bounds on Bunker Hill. Number 21. I think they should start. Tony Guerrero stepped out. I think they should start going Rivera more. Send up very rare for looks. And no, they need to get it inside to Abby Hurley. That ball taken away. Hector going all the way to the basket. Can't get it to fall. Bradham is there. She can't make it. Abby Sioper there. You have a, they missed the open, a window right there. Nice little dribble move by Rivera, kicking it back out. Get Abby, James a, open. Get a move, get a move without the basketball. James 
And I think they're going to call her for an offensive. I think she might have pushed off driving to the basket. It's just not James' uh, time right now. Struggling a little bit here in the first quarter. Yeah, and like I said, we they need her. Bunker Hill's going to call a timeout. 18-8, first quarter action. If you're just joining us, Bunker Hill in the red. The Bulldogs have an 18-8 lead, 3.13 to play here in the first quarter. So early going, Bristol getting beat on the boards bad. Bunker Hill is able to get second and third chance opportunities, and the Bristol defense just not, you know, um, not rotating, not getting out there to, uh, to guard the uh, three-point line. And that's the difference in this game. If they if they change that, start boxing out, start closing out on the threes, this – they can go down this lead easily. Yeah, they can't. They can't give um, Bunker Hill open looks. No, no, especially with the shooters they have. They have three people. They have three people on the team uh, averaging double figures. Looks like they're going half court defense. Well, see that just leaves. That just leaves number twenty one, Panna Guerrero, wide open. Abby Hurley couldn't get over there. Bristol looks like they're sledging through the mud right now. Down 12. They get inside and they double team. They pass it to a double. F.A. Aduje with a nice steal there. Hector for three, drains nice. it. And she, <laughs> that's three. Yeah. That's three, Megan. She knocked down three in a I, row. It might have been my fault. Yeah. <laughs> I think you better take those words back. I'll take them back. Sioper trying to go underneath, and another turnover Let's by Bristol. It. Here comes Hector. They got the numbers, three on one. Oh. oh I'm just happy she didn't go for three I was there. gonna say she should have passed it, but wow. Nice basket there by Hector, keeping it, putting up a high off the glass. And they're gonna call, let's see what they call, foul. It just seems Bunker Hill has more energy right now. Seems like they they look, look kind of sluggish. Not moving around much. Not getting back to the basket. Abby Sioper. She'll take a seat. Sarah Sagan. Who started the game. She's back in. Coat inside to Katera James. James spins in the lane. Has her shot partially blocked by number 20, F.A. Aduji. I don't know about that shot. And just like that, it was 18-8. All of a sudden, it's 25-8. Three-pointer by Bradham. Can't get it to fall. And Bulldogs are just getting to all the 50-50 balls. And he's oh, nice pass inside. Oh, and a block by. They missed the rotation. By Rivera. Allowing, allowing 21 to easily go under the basket for an open pass. Yeah, it just seems like Bristol is all confused on their defensive rotations. They're not able to. Uh, they're well, Marcia they're allowing a lot of open looks. Marcia just came in. Hopefully Hector that looking for her fourth three. That's her first miss from three-point land. Another offensive rebound by the Bulldogs. I was about to say, Marcia just came in. Hopefully that will give them uh, some energy they need. They toss it inside, and that's way out of bounds. Finally, Bristol catches a break. Minute 24 to go in the first. Rivera brings the ball up for Bristol. Bulldogs in 2-3 zone. Three-pointer by James. Air ball. Rebounded by Hector. Hector, three on one. Katera James trailing the play. Oh, nice and pass nice there by Hector to Bradham. Bayhawks uh, gave up on that play a little bit. I thought Katera James was going to come in and Pass underneath to Sagan, and she just gets her shot blocked. I know what you were saying in the previous time down court. I thought Katera James was going to come back and pass it and uh, you know steal it. no steal that ball down there. Marshall looking inbound, gets it inside. KJ for three, no good. Nice hustle there by Rivera. Nice, and she gets it to Marshall. Marshall taking it to the basket. Seems like nothing just, just going in for Bayhawks. Yeah, nice effort there by Amaya. Just couldn't get it to fall. Another easy basket. And Jay, Coach Jay Hanley is going to have to call a timeout right now. Bayhawks is not getting nothing nothing to uh, go in. Rivera seems like the only one to have energy right now. Well, she always has energy. Yes. 29 to 8, 32.9 to go in the first. 
Bristol. I think they should start going to her more f in, uh, inside. Or send her up with either picks or Who's that? something. Rivera. She's too small. I know, but <laughs> your whole team's kind of small right now with, with number 23. What's she going to do? A t you think she's going to post up somebody? <laughs> no, but pick set picks and maybe let her run to the basket, maybe draw the foul. I mean, that's the thing. I just think Bristol's, they're not, they're not moving without the basketball. Abby Hurley has to do a better job of asserting herself on the block and, you know, making her making herself a you know good target down there. She was called you know? the ball. She called for the ball a couple of times, but Bayhawks just couldn't get it to her. Well, she's not. You know, Abby Hurley not doing a not doing a great job getting position down there, mm -hmm. and they um, the defenders just able to front her. I felt like defensively she was struggling a little bit to find to find the uh, players inside and box out. We have to remember Bristol hasn't played a game. And, you know, since the um, before the Christmas break, I mean, up until last week, yeah. you know, and um, I believe this is Abby Hurley's first game since the Christmas break. So that's very true. Could be just shaking the rust off, shaking the rust off. And there's one thing about, you know, practicing, practicing, practice speed and game speed is two totally mm -hmm. different things. So that could be part of the adjustment. Offenses looks unsure of themselves right now. Rivera with the floater. Oh can't get it to go. Rebounded by Coat. No good. See, I don't mind that shot there by Rivera. Ooh, that pass. Oh, nice uh, nice job of um, Bradham to, uh, to, 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 uh, to run that down in the pass. Bayhawks got a break there. No Rivera foul. going into the teeth of the defense and just can't muster anything. And that is going to be the end of the quarter. Well, that quarter was all... Bulldogs 29 to 8 at the end of the first quarter. We'll be right back with second quarter action when we return from La France Gymnasium and Fall River, Massachusetts. We'll be right I graduated in 2000 from Norfolk County Agricultural High School. I attended Casanova College for three years in the equine business management program. I um, unfortunately did not finish college but was able to um, find my passion with the harness horse community in Plainville, Massachusetts. I had my son, I was by myself, I found myself working a lot and I just felt that I wanted something better for him. I wanted to be able to support him more than just paycheck to paycheck. So I decided I had to go back to school. What drew me to dental hygiene was that um, it's a great career. It can have flexible hours so that's what I was looking for for my child and I'd be able to make a decent amount of money to provide for my child. The faculty were phenomenal, especially my first semester where I really wasn't sure of where I fit in or if I could even do this after 11 years. Um, my biology teacher was very overwhelmed and I was like, well, maybe I made the wrong decision. I need to rethink this. I went to her and she said, you can do this and you will do this. If it wasn't for her, I don't know if I could have been as successful as I was in classes. I was very, very blessed to have her my first semester. Online classes were very beneficial. Because I want to welcome back in, welcome back in our, our Facebook audience. Thank you all for watching our live stream presented to you by FRC Media, your Bayhawks broadcasting network. Bayhawks basketball, second half of the season. Things starting to heat up. Only one more weekend of football. After that, it's going to be all basketball. I can't wait. Now the Patriots are out. <laughs> ready to find out what Brady's going to do this, this offseason. It's going to be very interesting for oh. the Patriots. I, my heart can't even take it. I know. <laughs> I still think we could be a playoff team without, without Brady. I mean, Bill, he's shown, it, he's shown it before with Matt Castle. Now will we be could they be a Super Bowl contender, though? That's the thing. Yes, that's a different conversation. James gets it inside. That's what I want from there Abby Hurley. Go. There you go, Abby. She just needs to get deep down into the paint, get, assert herself. She could pose a problem. Yes. They just have to look for that more in. Oh, nice bounce pass. And a nice, nice job by landing in is Hector. What a pass there by Bradham. Bradham and Hector has been all over this game tonight. One, two, Star punch. Well, her name is Star. And she's looking like a star out there today. James finds Sioper. Abby Sioper way up there. Hurley. Hurley got to get her. She got to get in there. Well, I'm getting on Abby Hurley there today. <laughs> After uh, Abby uh, hit that shot. It's all love, Abby. <laughs>
KJ through the legs, going baseline, try to put a floater up. But well, that was a good defensive play there by Abby Hector. I mean, Adana Hector. They, the Bayhawks has got to keep chipping away at this lead. Get into the basket and get the rebound on the defensive Abby side. Abby looking to drive. Got caught underneath the basket. Now we have a loose ball. Referee calls jump. Possession now is going to be in favor of Bristol. So they'll keep it right here. India Coat kicks it back out. James, floater in the lane. At the yes. shot clock buzzer, it will count. KJ for two. James needed to see that one down. She, uh, she was praising the Bayhawks early in the year for uh, having good chemistry. Three-pointer in the corner by Bradham, and it's good. They Another three-pointer by the Bulldogs, this time by Bradham. They have to start showing it more tonight by constantly moving around and passing the ball, looking for the open, open man. Yeah, they just aren't getting good looks. Yes. Rivera, deep three, coming off. Abby Hurley is there. There you go. That's what I want to see from Hurley. More hustle in there to get the to get the on the boards. Yeah, you can't be timid. You got to be aggressive. You got to get in there and throw yourself around. Like I said, she's got the height advantage over everybody out there. Another three by Bradham, coming off. Another offensive rebound by the Bulldogs. She just has to be more aggressive. Ten on the ten on the shot clock. It's all about Rivera, who. and Hector. It's all about who has the biggest heart. <laughs> well, it's almost Valentine's Day. I know. <laughs> this happens. Going by so quick I don't already. know. When is Valentine's? It's the 14th, right? Mm hmm Here it is underneath. Yes. Another basket there by the Bulldogs, this time by number 20. Talking about, F.A. Adushi. Talking about the Valentine's Day. They lob it into Abby Hurley. There you go. That's the matchup you want to get. The lob it into Abby Hurley. Make them stop it. Bayhawks are finally get some love from the crowd with a couple, couple of uh, baskets being able to go in. Yeah, we get a good crowd here on a Tuesday night. They get inside. Getting her own rebound, number 21. I like what Lady Pena Guerrero. I like what Rivera did there. She was she she knows she can't block it, but she did enough to disturb the first shot. Yeah, well you know you talked talk about heart. Yeah. And I think Atia Rivera definitely has it. She's always hustling on each play, diving to the floor. You know, never uh, never giving up on any play. Well she's the and she's full of hustle. Yeah, she's for the the ter the team's uh third leading scorer with almost thirteen points per game. Yeah, and that's from the point guard position. Yes. So Scoring a little bit over 50%. She's there. She's their floor general. She can um, she can run the break. She can create for others. Just needs some help out there. Nice pass there. As we talked about facilitating, and then there's a lay-in. Nice. Good looking play there. A good looking pass. Bristol needs more of that. Just take the easy baskets. They're gonna come up and try to attack the Bulldogs. There you go. Nice hustle there by Abby. Abby Sioper going to take it to the middle. Bounce pass underneath. KJ. Abby Hurley is there. Can't get it to fall. Bounce Man, that was a big – they could have used that basket. Yes. Bristol, so, Bristol needs to go on a little run here. Punched away by Rivera. It'll stay Bulldogs basketball. This, this team is uh, starting to feed off a little bit of Rivera's energy, I feel like. I like cut the, te uh, the lead. Only yeah, down by 18 points. They need to. Mm. Need to start showing some emotion. Cross-court pass at the top. 17 on the shot clock. Here's a matchup. Oh, cut into the basket. Oh, nice dish. Nice feed there by Bradham. Good job by Bradham. Look Finding uh, the hole inside. Well, good job of moving without the basketball. KJ 
Three-pointers no good. Rebounded by India Coat. She'll fall to the floor. And that didn't look good. That no. was a hard fall. It's not what we want to see. That's, that, we heard that one. She fell down, but she got right back up, mm -hmm. and she shook it off. Shake but I think she's... <laughs> It looks like uh, they're going to take her out. Yeah, her. yeah Sarah Sagan's yeah. going to come in. 38-18, 20-point lead for the Bulldogs. They'll dump it inside. Hurley loses it. Marshall looking to go baseline and gets it knocked away by Pena Guerrero. James uh, got to step up this more this game. I know she's been trying, but she's uh, been shooting over 50%. This season. Oh, nice cut to the basket by Rivera. Nice find by Marshall. And I believe she's going to go to the line for two. I remember one smart woman once said that Rivera should be, they should get the ball to Rivera more going to the basket. <laughs> well, you're right. Yeah. Just like Star Bradham does for the Bulldogs, she cuts She cuts so well, she moves so well without the basketball. It's just hard because Rivera is usually the one to define those people cutting. So who's going to find Rivera? Yeah, but once she passes it off, Rivera... She needs to be cut into the basket. Yes. She's, she's so quick. Monkey Hill got a couple good uh, fast players themselves. Yeah, they do a great job of passing. I mean, they do a great job of passing the basketball. Rivera misses the first one. She makes the second. Substitution, Abby Hurley. Abby coming in for Abby. Abby C coming in for Abby H. I like what I see from Abby Siopa. I just think she needs to be more more sure of herself. There's times where I think she wants to shoot, but she doesn't. Cut into the basket. Guerrero, like, no good. I feel like that's just a hard thing to do with first game. KJ. Nice first day, KJ. Coast to coast, nice. off the glass and in. Hopefully, uh, seeing one go in starts uh, will start turning KJ's game around. There you go, KJ. Going off the steal there. Shot in the corner is no good. Rebounded by Katera James. James looking to push for Bristol. Katera James all the way. Off. Can't oh, get it to goodness. fall. Man. I was about to say, the last three drives just seem. Bristol not getting a whole lot of good looks or good opportunities to score. So when they do get those opportunities, they need, they need to take advantage of them. Yeah, that ball just did not fall in right there. Maybe maybe a little, little bit more, a little less spin for KJ. But. I like what I saw for her the last three drives. A lot of hustle. Yeah, she's just not she's just not making the layup. She's no. missing a lot of layups. She's not getting a friendly role tonight. And I'm surprised, like I said, over 50% scoring. They definitely need her to uh, step up with, Jay, with Jada out. Three-pointer from the corner, short. Good job by Tia Rivera to get there. Get that loose basketball, Rivera. Nice job of kicking it back out. Marshall for three. Gets nice. it to go. And they're going to say it's only two. For Marshall, Amaya Marshall showing her range there. 38 to 23, 436 to play in the second quarter. We're going to take a break here from LaFrance Gymnasium and the river. Be right back. I always knew I wanted to go to college. I just didn't know how or when. Bristol gave me the flexibility to balance work, family life, and the things I love to do. I was able to transfer and get a bachelor's degree in the field I am passionate about. Bristol helped me so I can help others. Working as a mentor and a coach, I know I'm making a difference. And I'm able to show my kids and others the value of a college education. It's never too late. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. Welcome back, everybody. 38 to 23, 15 point lead. And I say, Megan, what do you think they need to do to you know, what do you think they need to cut it down here at the end of the half in order to have a chance here in the second half to possibly stage a comeback? I say they need to cut it to within at least 12. I, I think, yeah, definitely get it. I, would say I mean, I would say 10. I would actually say, you know, single digits, but yeah. that's like getting, you know, that might be uh, having too much high expectations, but at least cut it to within 10 or 12. And they I can do that. I mean, that's five, you know, a couple baskets, a couple – Couple free throws. I think it's possible. It's all about who has more, the most energy. Most energy. It's been going back and forth recently, uh, towards the end of this first quarter. You're Bayhawks is been more consistent. You're an energy girl, huh? 
I, it's all about energy. Do you drink? And do you have like? I do not do you drink. Drink, you do think you drink energy drinks? You think I'll think Monster, but with all the no, that's a lot I of think? sugar. Too yeah. much sugar. No, I don't drink none. I just drink water. <laughs> I will advertise <laughs> Poland Spring right now, but because you can have all the energy in the world and still get your butt beat, you know. That's true. A lot, of, a lot of a lot of turnovers, a lot of um. You know, good defense too. Let's not take away Bunker Hill's defense. They um, and they're and they're rebounding. They've they've out rebounded. They've out hustled Bristol. They've gotten to the, they've gotten to the loose balls. Nice lob in. Oh, nice that play a, by Marshall. That was a nice pass. That was a nice play by Marshall. I think that's what that they, that's the difference is that they're playing better defense. They're they're boxing out. They're getting they're getting uh the ball. Well, they're, I mean, offensive right now, boys. their offense is just more fluent. They know what they're doing. They know what they want to do on the offensive end. Bristol does not. I think it's just trying to adjust with Fortin out. Yeah. I mean, that's what happens, though. You know, sometimes during the course of the season, players get injured. You know. I, d I think. Certain things happen. We know that, you know, not everything is. Uh, Defensive. Not everything goes as, as scripted, you know. You get a, you get, a, you're gonna face, you're gonna face adversity. But especially on the defensive side, I know, I understand that Fortin will is a big hole, missing a big hole in the, the offensive side. But defensive side, you just have to pick that up more. You gotta start boxing. I think it's the inside, that's, yeah, that's a weakness right now for the BayHawks. And it's not well, boxing out. It just seems right now like uh, Coach Jay Hanley doesn't. Doesn't seem like he's confident in his team going man to man, you know, playing, um, mm -hmm. you know, playing man up, man to man defense. Right now, a lot of zone, and uh, teams have been able to find holes within that zone. They're leaving a lot of players open, you know, players not rotating, players not getting out to to guard three pointers. Oh, they're getting open shots. And like, like you said, Bristol not having the energy, not, you know, um, not able to get out there and guard people. They're not taking advantage of their size either. At all. Yeah, because they have some height there with Abby Hurley, Abby C. Oper too. You know, they got both free throws made there, 40 to 23. They're just giving up too much space for the, for the shooters. If they start closing out more, they can make this game a lot more difficult for the for Bunker. I always knew I wanted to go. What about it. Cross-court pass. Amaya Marshall looking to square up there. Marshall going to the glass. There you go. Marshall. Amaya Marshall. Boy, she looks like she's getting more comfortable and more confident game by game. Like what I see from her. A nice crossover there by Hector. Hector going into oh. <laughs> right into Abby Hurley. And that didn't seem like it like it tickled. But like, you can appreciate yeah. the aggressiveness there by Hector. And she's going to go to the line for two. And Abby Hurley, that's her third foul. Coach, uh, actually that's her first foul. They had three on the board there. That's her first foul. First free throw rules out. Honestly, this has been uh, Brad, Bradham and Hector all game so far. Abby Hurley averaging nine and a half points per game. How many rebounds? I mean, and she's also she's also their leading rebounder with six a game. She does a good job on the offensive boards. Forty-one to twenty-five. A second free throw is good. They lob it into Hurley. They collapse on her. Just can't muscle it up there. Bulldogs defense. See, the Bulldogs are doing a great job of help, de you know, playing help defense. Once Abby Hurley catches the ball inside, they suffocate. Yeah, they yeah. flock to her like you know. They recognize a mismatch, uh, mis mismatch for the BayHawks, and it's not letting them take advantage of it. Yeah. Oh, nice. That was a nice uh, inbound play. Sioper just couldn't connect on it. Nice job by Marshall getting back there. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> on the floor, Lana Guerrero. Then Bradham finds Hector for three. Can't get it to fall. Hurley couldn't get the rebound. Lana Guerrero with the rebound. Another offensive rebound by the Bulldogs. Wow, I want to see that offensive rebound stat sheet. Hector kicks it to the corner. Three-pointer coming off. No good. I want to know why. And Bayhawks it's going to be Bristol basketball. I think they called a foul I away know why, from the ball there. Why Bayhawks are letting uh, wide open threes. 
I don't know. <laughs> Let me see. Your guess is as good as mine. Bulldogs in that 2-3 zone. Bulldogs are not, maybe not a great uh, three-point percentage. Again inside to Abby Hurley. And again, once Abby Hurley gets the ball down in the block, the, um, the Bulldogs are right there to double-team her. She's not, like, she's not happy with that call. But Abby Hurley's going to recognize that. Once she gets the, once she gets the ball, she's going to know they're going to double-team her. She's going to be able to kick that ball back, back out, out for an open shot. Yes. Nice, oh, nice steal there by Katera James, ripping it away. James, only her, to the basket. There you go, nice KJ, job. laying it in for two. That's what they need from her. It's game down by uh, 14. Yeah, I didn't, know, I didn't know how she was going to score there. There's a bunch of red shirts surrounding her, and she just pushed it towards the end there to get, get to the basket. Bristol needs a couple good defensive stops here, and they're going to call Amaya Marshall with the block. All right, we're heating up in here. The pressure cooker. <laughs> in here, in the pressure cooker. Time to roll your sleeves up. Let's see if uh, Bradham feels it with these three throws. Star Bradham. I like that name. And she gets the, she gets the friendly bounce. Got that soft touch. Bradham cannot make the second free throw. It's going to be off, off the Bulldogs, off number 20. See? F.A. Aduje. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't say. Well, it's <laughs> F.A. Aduje, and I'm going to give myself a pat on the back for getting that name right in the opening First introductions. Try. Yeah. But. She's been able to get to the... Hector crossing over at the free throw line. Kicks it back out. Shot in the corner. No good. Nice job of getting up for it. See Oprah. She's been able to get to the below the basket all game tonight. Abby C. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, nice, nice rip away by India Coat. And Abby C is there to lay it in for two. It's a good debut for Abby C. Cut down to 13. She's not hitting everything, but she's definitely aggressive. Right, I think she's definitely, um, this is her up. first game for Bristol, so I think she's just trying to fit her way in. Yes. I like how she, she's stepping up, she sees that they're in need of scoring. Right, because I think need. she's being a little bit too unselfish. They need her to score. I think she's, I think she definitely has the ability to score. We see how I hit her long too earlier in the game. And now, now it looks like Bristol's matching up, man. Going up the floater by Hector, no good. And now the uh, the Bulldogs are getting a little complacent. Oh, KJ is going to look up. KJ going all the way to the basket. And she can't get it to fall this time. Uh, I thought she should have looked up. She had Abby in it. Three on one. Loose ball by, loose ball, Maya Marshall gets to it. Bulldogs are getting a little careless on the other end. They missed some easy shots. James, boy, she knows how to use the window. Great angle, nice little floater up there by KJ. And look where we're at, down 11, down 11, Megan. I was almost going to call you Melissa. <laughs> I also go by Melissa, I guess. It seems like a... Bristol hit the magic number. Let's see if they can keep it going. Single digits, try to get single digits. For single that digits, half. prove us wrong. Kick out, jumper, way off. And the Bulldogs have gone cold. Abby C. I'm surprised she didn't try to fight James. Abby C gets it into KJ, puts it up way too strong. She rushed I thought there. she got pushed. Jump ball, going the Bristol way. Not sure if KJ's uh, a little winded there. I know, um, I know Coach Jay Hanley would be happy as a pig, and you know what? If his team could cut it down to within single digits. Well, they definitely take advantage. It seems like uh, Bunker Hill. Amaya Marshall. Oh, energy right now. Oh, uh, it's a bad pass off the inbound. Going to get back on defense. Bradham is going to have an easy lay-in, and I know Coach Jay Henley must be kicking himself right now. That's a moment momentum killer right there. Yeah, that's a – you get a score there. 44-31. Marshall's waiting for the ball. Bristol can hold for the last shot, as they should. Marshall. 
And they're going to call a foul. They can still, well, they'll be able to get this to, she makes both to 11, so. That'd be perfect. We'll see if Amaya Marshall can make her free throws. They're going to call a foul on number one, Star Bradham. Both teams are in the bonus. But only seven and a half seconds to play. And Marshall mm -hmm. calmly, no matter what, looks like they're going to have that magic number. I know. I, I, like, I like Marshall's demeanor in the games. She's hustles, but she doesn't. Very she calm. Anything, yeah. Very calm. Missed. Abby, hit. Abby Hurley puts it up. Nice. Off the glass and in. Cut to within 10. That's what they need from Hurley this game. Look at that. Holy cow. Number one there, Star Bradham. They've been looking for that. That looked like Hurley. she looked like Pat Mahomes. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. But Bristol with a heck of a run there at the end of the half to cut it to within 10. Getting it below the uh, the magic number that we set for 12. Exceeding expectations. Exceeding expectations. So it's 44 to 34. Bristol very much in this one with a nice little run at the end. We're going to take a break here. It is halftime from the pressure cooker, La France Gymnasium in Fall River. Stay tuned for second half action, and we'll be right back for that. Stay here. All right, welcome back, everybody. Coming back from halftime, 44 to 34, the Bayhawks. Down by 10, but they made a heck of a run there at the end of the uh, first half, Megan. Yes, they were able to put uh, a couple drives together and get back into the game. A couple drives together? What is this? You get the Super Bowl on the mind? No, I have Three-pointer from the wing off nice. the bat by Hector, and that's not something that uh, – that's not a way you want to start off if you're Bristol. Hector. Wide open three, her Hector. fourth. Yeah. Hector got 23 points this game. And who were some of the leading scorers in that first half, uh, Miss Megan? For the Bayhawks, Hurley got 14 points, and James had uh, were able was able to put together eight points. While uh, Bunker Hill, Hector's been leading the way with 20 points, and uh, Badham uh, was able to uh, start. That's another three. To get eight that points. one almost fell. Tipped up. Again, for the life of me, I do not understand why Adana Hector has been wide open this whole game. Looks like How many points for Adana Hector? 23 points. 23 points. She leads all scores. I think she just wants to set me up for what I said earlier. Yeah, she definitely did. She let you have it. Something Driving like baseline, the floater by James, way short. Rebounded by Pana Guerrero. Guerrero. Katera James just needs a sticker. They get it inside. Double deuce over Hurley for two. And just like that, Bunker Hill extends their lead back up to 15. Marshall gets it inside. Hurley scoops it up, puts it above the glass and in. And boy, that was a big basket there for Bristol to stop the bleeding. Well, Bayhawks uh, realized the mismatch there and keep getting it into Hurley, who got 16 points now. And we talk about Abby Hurley and how much her presence was missed last Thursday in uh, Bristol's last contest. And here in comes Abby Chopper in for Sarah Sagan. Abby Chopper's been a nice uh, little spark off the bench for the Bayhawks. She definitely has. Making her home debut. Off the inbound pass, rebounded by Hurley. Gets it ripped away. Nice block by there by Hurley. That's a, she needs to step up her defensive uh, presence so uh, the second half. Definitely does. I mean, Abby, one thing I will say about Abby Hurley, when she gets the ball up off the rebound, she tends to bring it down, you know, below her waist, and those smaller girls, the smaller players on Bunker Hill are ripping it away from her. And there's going to be a foul there. It's going to be called on Bunker. It's going to be called a number 22, her first. So Bristol will try to cut this lead. Rivera's going to get the energy from those, from those pink shoes. Abby Chopper kicks it back out. Amaya Marshall for three. It's nice. good. Marshall is showing her range. I'm telling you, Marshall's this team's market smart. She was able to get a <laughs> basket when needed. Make the little plays. And the three-point shot is not her forte, Megan, but boy, as she had a couple long-range bombs today, and she's been like their unsung hero. Nice play there by Marshall to take it away. 
Rivera gets it up the chopper a little uh, bit too little much. Bit too oh, she put too much air underneath that, over that. Somehow oh, it's off it's of Bunker Hill. Yes, off Bunker Hill. Gonna be off number 20, F.A. Avuje. Well, Chapa was able to sell that pretty good. And maybe that could spark the Bayhawks. Down 10. I give Bristol all the credit in the world. They were, they were down 10 at the beginning of the half, fell down by 15, and it looked like they it looked like they could get away from them, and they're right back in it. They get it underneath the chopper. Chopper can't get it to go. Looked like she might have lost control of that. Yeah, little, lost a little bit, but she definitely uh, was aggressive there. Oh, they're going to call travel. Nice. Bristol just needs to be cognizant of getting up there on the three-point line and guarding, and guarding um, Adana Hector because she's looking to shoot that three every chance she can get, and she can make it every chance she can get. So Bayhawks just need to start taking advantage of uh, Bunker Hill's few mistakes this game. Bunker Hill towards the end of that first half, they made a lot of mistakes yeah. actually, Megan, and they were actually um, they went cold from the field. We're a little fatigued. Yeah, they went a little helter-skelter. They weren't as, as uh, fundamentally sound. As they were in the beginning of the yeah, first quarter. Yeah, and they, they started to unravel a little bit. And Bristol kind of capitalized. We have a little break in the action here. Both teams with one team foul. Just getting underway here in the third quarter. If you're just joining us, seven and a half minutes to play. Bristol trailing by ten. I was surprised to see uh, Rivera doesn't have much points this game. I think they should start getting her going to the basket more, freeing up some more space. Are you a Rivera fan? I'm a Rivera fan. It's the <laughs> shoes. I'm going to be honest. Man. Rivera Marshall. That's my, uh, I'll say, my two favorite players right now. Right now, Maya Marshall, she is like the, uh, she's the uh, the unsung hero Tell you, in this game. She's doing the little things, like you said. I'm going to vote her on the all-star team. <laughs> the all-star team. <laughs> Marshall trying to go through two defenders, loses it. But Rivera with the floater in the lane. Ooh. Can't get it to fall. Who else is there? Abby, Heal Abby Hurley. Second shot's that. Oh, goodness gracious. I was rooting for you, Rivera. Abby Hurley with two misses in the paint. Could have cut it to within eight. And seems now we have a foul. It seems like when, they assume, when they're on the basket, when they're shooting, they're just rushing it. They're playing a little bit too much, too much on the ball, too much spin, too much pressure, and it's, it's not falling in for them. Yeah, because I think if you're Abby Hurley, you got to use, you know, use the glass there. But then again, you're in front of the basket. I don't know. Could have used a little bit more touch. That's a three-pointer from deep and uh -huh. drains it home. She could, she could crow. She's been there at Marshall tonight for the Monkey Hills, doing all the little things. F.A. Afuji. They'll dump it in. Chopper. Nice Chopper going Chopper. to the basket, and she'll draw the foul. I had to play by Chopper. She recognized the space she had and uh, took advantage of it, and Bunker Hill was a little late there. Forced the foul. And, I, and, I, and Megan, I think they could do that every time. Between Abby, Hurley, the two Abbeys. Yes. Double A. Chopper, first free throw is missed. Abby Get it inside to those two play, you know, those two players, Abby Hurley and um, Abby Chopper. They could take advantage of their, their height and their size advantage. Chopper definitely has the... The aggressiveness this game, looking to probably get some uh Rebound by Hurley. God, she's got to take her time and square. you got to yes. take your time and square up to the basket. Hurley with another opportunity to cut this lead down. Star Bradham from the wing drains a three. And, boy, that could be a – that's a backbreaker. Bradham is now in double digits. Ouch, 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 ouch. Star Bradham with a backbreaking back three. 6.32 to go here. We're going to take a break here from LaFrance Gymnasium. We'll be right back after this. I always knew I wanted to go to college. I just didn't know how or when. Bristol gave me the flexibility to balance work, family life, and the things I love to do. I was able to transfer and get a bachelor's degree in the field I am passionate about. Bristol helped me so I can help others. Working as a mentor and a coach, I know I'm making a difference. And I'm able to show my kids and others the value of a college education. It's never too late. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. 55 to 38. And um, the Bulldogs are up 50, yeah, 55-38, 17-point lead. 
And um, it was a 10-point lead. It was 48 to 38 just a, just a little bit ago. But the um, the Bulldogs with a 7-0 run to extend it to their largest lead of the game. What Bunker, uh, what Bayhawks need is for their star players to step up. They've gotten some uh, contribute contribute contributions from their uh, from their role players with Hurley and and Chopper first coming in, but Rivera and. Uh, KJ has been pretty quiet this yeah, game. Yeah, they've been quiet. The, the you know leading the way has been, like you said, Abby Hurley, her inside presence. She's been she's had a lot of offensive rebounds and putbacks. You know she's been a inside presence for them, and also Abby Chopper coming in with her contributions, and then Armia Marshall hitting some big shots and you know um, some key defensive plays that you know help get some turnovers and her hustle plays. But Katera James and Atia Rivera as a whole, they've been pretty quiet. Yes. And they're your two of your top scorers, your two top scorers right now. So they need more out of those two. They lob it into Hurley. They collapse on her again. Katera James gets in there. And she's going to go to the free throw line for two. Hurley's just rushing too much under the basket. Just take her time more. Yeah, you can't say that Bristol hasn't had their opportunities. They had their opportunities right there. Like you said, Abby Hurley. Mm -hmm. As for as good as she's been, she's, missed she's actually, yeah, she's missed a lot of opportunities. She has, what, 16 points, 18 points today? She probably could have had 28 points today. And on the other side, she gave, I feel like she gave up uh, quite a few points. Right, so, I mean, okay. for as good as it's been. You got to take the you know, good with the bad, I guess. Yeah, but, I mean, without her, they're not even remotely in this game. Three-pointer from the wing, no good. Getting in there and getting an easy rebound there is Guerrero. I feel like Bunker Hill set a record with the offensive rebounds. I'm sorry, Afuje. Yeah, with the offensive rebounds. Yeah, I think there has to be a record. James in the corner for three. Hurley is there. Another miss by Hurley underneath. Maybe it's the wrist. Maybe it's just the snap of the wrist. <laughs> I don't think so. Marshall's going to inbound. Marshall, you know, Maya Marshall, Maya Marshall, she's taking um, good advantage. Like, she's a very efficient. She's taking advantage of her, op of her opportunities. She doesn't shoot a lot, but when she does, it's a high percentage shot. Right. Knocking it down is KJ, only two in the corner. Hopefully this gets KJ going. She pulled up, she uh, was able to put together a couple drives uh, last quarter, but missed a couple easy layups as well. Definitely, Bristol is definitely... Um, had their share of misses. Nice pass to a cutting Afuje. Nice block there by Chopper. Over the head of Hurley. India Coat on the floor. Now, see, that could have been avoided. They kind of, when that ball came down, Bayhawks kind of watched it away to go out of bounds to one last player, KJ, realized that Bayhawks was the last one to touch it and try to save the ball there. That could have all been avoided. Yep, little well, 10 on the shot clock now. Afuje for three, going to be short. Rebounded by Chopper. Chopper's going to look up. Uh, She's got numbers. Nice pass. And oh, but Hurley cannot control it. I thought that was a nice pass there by Chopper. She also had a... Going back the other way. Nice pass there by Spradham. Bunker Hills is way better right now at the fast break. To get it to Panic Guerrero, yeah. Bulldogs, they do a great job in transition. They're, de they're decisive. They don't hesitate. Definitely Even more decisive. Bristol looks very indecisive on offense. A floater by nice. Katara James uses the window. And maybe she can start to get going now. Made a couple backs in the row. Her game is just sporadic, though. It's just inconsistent. Definitely. Uh, what's, it, what's the badge in NBA 2K? Is it a uh, microwave shooter? <laughs> going in and driving the lane is um, Star Bradham, who is their version of Atia Rivera. She's like the Atia Rivera of their team. Facilitator, but could be a score when needed. And what do we have here? It's going to be a technical foul. Oh, wow. Who's a technical on? Might have been someone on the bench. It'll be good for James to make these two, and then they get the ball back. 
61-45. You get it to, to within 15 here. And KJ does just that. So they get the ball. Think it's possible this game? Anything possible this game? Anything is possible. It's a 15-point lead. It's in within reach. Yeah, cut it to within, to within 13 here. and so It's all going to be about rebounds. Don't not let Bunker Hill get second uh, point opportunities. Got to do a better job on the boards. The Bulldogs are killing. They're absolutely killing Bristol on the boards. It's a shame. Marshall, and they're going to call a travel. Mm -hmm. I want to see him. Amaya Marshall. I want to see her be more aggressive. She's made some shots here. Be, what, be, uh, be more involved in offense? Yeah, she needs to be more involved in the offense. I wonder if that's the, if it's them just not running plays for her or if it's just her not moving around. Missed there by Bradham. Katera James. Bristol needs a good look here. James going into the defense. And they're going to call a jump ball. And it's going to stay Bristol basketball. You know what I don't like seeing out there? It seems like every time Bristol gets the ball, they just seem like they're just all out of sorts. They're just like. It seems like they just go one play, just tries to go to the yes, basket every single time. And, and, and they go in. Yeah, they go in without a plan. Yes. Move the ball. Get to move the basketball. Everyone's looking uh, at the basket like it's some piece of cake and trying to get to it. And just, yeah, try, trying to jam it in there. Monkey Hill's doing a pretty good job of uh, suffocating the inside, though. Putting three, exactly. three players inside. So you got to pass it out. When a Bristol player drives a the lane, they're clogging up the lane. And they're getting offensive rebounds. They're blocking out. They're only allowing Bristol to get one shot. Hurley, make one move. Not the move that you want. That was a wild shot there by Hurley. Oh, nice little dish there. Oh, back Hector, back to back to um, Star Bradham. The one-two punch for the Bunker Hill this, this game. Man, every time Bristol has a little has a little bit of a window to try to try to get back into this game and cuts into it a little bit. Bunker it just Hills. seems like Bunker Hill is just like, yeah. Slamming it on the fingers. Exactly. And and goes back up 17. Well, look, looks like there's a player trying to give uh, some Bayhawks some help. Oh, wait, no, <laughs> he's going to Bunker Hill's team. Understandable. Understandable. Mama, there <laughs> goes that man. He's <laughs> like, I got this, Mom. I'll get, the, I'll get them some baskets. They could use any help right now. 3.35 <laughs> to play here in the third. Hey, you got some speed. Yeah. I, just I don't think he's going to help them on the boards, though. No, no. Hey, you never know. Seems like the ball's been bouncing all over the place this game. <laughs> Rivera swings it to James. Bulldog zone has been live. Going to the hole. Chopper puts nice it up and in. There. She needs to be more aggressive. Yes. She could do that. She didn't see nothing open, so she took it to the basket. Keep doing that. Assert yourself. Within 15, Bristol. Now they're finally getting out there defending the three-point line. Nice, nice steal there by Chopper. Chopper. You got the numbers. Look at Katera James. There you go. Nice find. Oh, there nice play. Go. Nice. Oh. oh, goodness gracious. It's like that would have been a beautiful play. Knocked away by their by Marshall. It's like they had the cake made, but they forgot the frosting. <laughs> there you go. You can tell I'm Best hungry. thing you said all night. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Had all the ingredients. Just, just forgot to put the cake in the oven. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> 15 on the shot clock. Oh, nice pass in there. Oh. Why are they going small inside? Marshall, oh, ripped it away, Ooh, and then she falls Marshall to the floor. I feel like Marshall. Uh, I'll tell you what there, Bradham, Star Bradham, she she throws some lightning balls. She throws some lightning quick passes. We can use her on the Red Sox. So? <laughs> <laughs> Throw some pitches. Oh, Lord. Bristol, Bristol needs to stop here. Guerrero puts her head down. And another offensive rebound. You got to block out. It seems like. That was a wild shot, right? And a wild miss there by Guerrero. It seems like uh, when it comes to inside the basket, getting off re re rebounds, Bunker Hill's just trying way more harder than, than uh, Bayhawks. You think it's an effort thing? That ball's short. Look at uh, when. James. 
with the basketball. KJ all the way nice. to the rack. There you go. When uh, the Bayhawks shoot and they, there's a rebound, they don't go after it like the Bunker Hill does. Well, Bunker Hill's just, um, they're just blocking out. They're just getting better position right now. And that's going to be the case with the size mismatch. Loose ball. Nice play. India Coat, seems like she's always on the floor. Mm. And they're going to call a jump, and they're going to say the possession arrow is in the favor of the Bayhawks. So, again, down 15. See how it fell earlier. She's favoring that, that left knee a little bit. Yeah, well, she, well, remember she had that collision with yeah. where her, you know, face hit the floor. Yeah, that could hurt. Here's Chopper. Chopper needs to look to cut it, you know, take it to the basket. She's definitely the, uh, the biggest option, I think, the biggest weapon so far. KJ with the floater, gets nice. it to fall. Cuts it to within 13, and Bristol will not go away. They keep falling back, falling back, coming back, falling back, and... I think it might be a little too late for KJ uh, to come alive, but she's No, it's not too late. There's a whole quarter to go. Where's your optimism? Solo by Chopper up to Rivera. Rivera with Bradham. Puts it up over nice. Bradham. <laughs> that was a matchup. And Bristol just like that within 11. Don't go away. Great job by Rivera on the break. The biggest thing is if... Got to get a steal. James. Chopper needs to run with her. James all the way to the rack. Sees it. And Bristol within nine. The biggest thing is uh, Bayhawks need to keep this lead. Keep the momentum. Every time they get the momentum, they seem to give it up. Just keep, keep your uh, foot on the gas pedal here. And you can see the, the Bristol, Bristol spirits uplifted. Bradham. Oh, uh, my goodness. And a dagger to the heart. Bradham with a throat slasher. Bradham with a throat slasher to put it back up within 12. It's like finishing. Man, it just seems like, yeah, it just seems like every time Bristol gets close. This is what I mean. Is it is it too late? Is is this gonna is this the pattern of the game? No, you remember there's a whole nother quarter to go. Rivera driving. Pulls up from the elbow. Jumper, no good. Chopper! Oh, no, can't get it to fall. But Bristol is in it. Chopper saying she got fouled in that last play. Bristol energy is up. They Bristol down by 12. Sorry, Megan, but we're going to take a break here. We'll be right back with fourth quarter action. This one going down to the wire. We'll be right back from the France Gymnasium from Fall River. I always knew I wanted to go to college. I just didn't know how or when. Bristol gave me the flexibility to balance work, family life, and the things I love to do. I was able to transfer and get a bachelor's degree in the field I am passionate about. Bristol helped me so I can help others. Working as a mentor and a coach, I know I'm making a difference. And I'm able to show my kids and others the value of a college education. It's never too late. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. All right, we're back. We're getting ready to set to uh, start this fourth quarter. And Megan, 68 to 56. It just seems like, it seems like every time Bristol seems like they're going to be out of it, you know, and the Bulldogs are just going to run away with this one. Bristol keeps coming, storming back, and they will not go away. You cannot question. You talked about heart earlier, right? Mm -hmm. Heart and energy. Bristol's energy is going to be at an all-time high right now. They are showing heart. They're showing fight. They will not go away. They will not die in this game. I feel like a lot of it's coming from their role players, too. Hurley, um, Chopper, and uh, Marshall there. Just hustling for the ball, doing all the little plays stepping up and getting the baskets for this game. But who's going to make shots? They need someone to make shots, consistent Oops. shots. Katera James needs to take over this fourth quarter. And I'm looking for big things from uh, Miss Abby Chopper. We called her Cioper in the first half. No way I could have got that right. Well, her name is spelled C-I-O-P-E-R. No one in their right mind would call her Chopper right off the bat. I guess the H is invisible. <laughs> The I is eight sounding. <laughs> Cross court pass there by Hector. Got to get out there and defend. Got to get out there and defend. Got to get a rebound if you're Bristol. Kicking it back out. Bradham for three. Knocked away. Another offensive rebound. F.A. of Pouget, and that's what I'm talking about. See, you can't give them second and third chance opportunities. I wonder why they don't want to put Chopper in the side and have her box out instead of Marshall. She has more size. Katera James for three. Short. That would have been big. 
Rebounded by the Bulldogs. Oh, nice take it. Oh. Marshall wanted that. Oh, Marshall picked her pocket in the back, but. They're saying they got a little piece of the hand and there. And they're going to call it with a reach in. And that's her second foul. Got caught with the hand in the cookie jar. Don't forget, we have a double header. Double header Tuesdays. God love them. The men's Bristol Community College Bayhawks team. They are in action. And they had a huge win. Man, it's a lob in and they turn over. Good way to start the second half of the season. See if they can go back to uh, back to back wins. Yeah, the Bristol um, Bristol men's team had a huge win on Saturday against Roxbury, and they were without Chad and Gia, their top scorer. So the Bristol men in competition tonight against Bunker Hill. I wonder in, um, in our second part of our doubleheader, so stay tuned for that, our audience. Inside, Hurley needs to pound it inside. She there does. You there you go. And this time, the Bulldogs chose not to um, not, chose not to double team. They, they didn't help her on that one. Hopefully for the uh, Bayhawks, they won't learn the lesson there. Bristol within 12. The zone. You can't be passive if you're going out there. Oh, oh. over oh. Rivera's head. Ooh, she gets elbowed in the stomach. Coming off, rebounded by Marshall. Good job, good box out there by Maya Marshall. Rivera leading open. the break. Chopper open for three. Oh. There's Chopper. Oh, Hector. it's high. Oh. Hector was favoring uh, left shoulder there a little bit. Yeah. Ooh, going right. Oh. Mm. Star Bredham goes right through Rivera. What a matchup that is. And this is what I was talking about earlier. It seems like every time Bayhawks cut it down to almost single digits, Bunker Hill just makes a play. The bolt, yeah, they make a play. Chopper drives, puts it up. Hurley, oh, yeah. thought there should have been a foul there. Ooh. Another collision. And what, who's the foul on now? We have I another collision, those two. Marshall and Marshall got uh, tangled up with the Bunker Hill player. Looks like the uh, They're going to call a foul on Katera James. Oh, James. Abby Hurley is going to go out. And so is Marshall. And so is Marshall. I mean, two inside presence, two good rebounders. I think you are giving up a little bit defensively here, going. You're giving up a lot off. inside. I yeah. mean, look, look who you got down there in the lower part of the defense. See, this and makes no sense to me. Why not switch 24? Oh, that makes two. no sense. They got her high. In the paint is Pana Guerrero. Tracking it down is India Coat. Well, Bayhawks got a favorable roll right there. See if they can take advantage coming up. Rivera kicks it back up to Chopper. Chopper inside to Katera James. I want to see. Try to muscle it up, just couldn't. I want to see the aggressive. Couldn't find the basket. I want to see the aggressiveness that I seen from Rivera last game. Oh, nice little dish there by Bradham. Gets it to Guerrero for two, and it's back up to 16. She was driving a lot. She was driving a lot more to the basket last game. Yeah, more open looks when you. Yeah, you're right. Doesn't look like she's um, looking for her own shot. That's mm -hmm. for sure. James, jumper. It's nice. good. Smart move to move up a little bit to get the. And, and you talked about you talked about Katera James needing to step up. She stepped up here in this last quarter and a half. I'll say ever since she stepped up a little bit in the first quarter, but she was in and out. But she definitely became more uh, uh, consistent in the second quarter, second half here. Down by 14. Nice, nice ball movement by the Bulldogs. Rebound by Chopper. Here's Rivera in the open court. Rivera to the basket, up there and in. Go. Bristol won't go away. I'm telling you, every time I think they're done, it's like the they climb. They can't get any closer than 10 or 12, though, it seems like. You sound like a Cowboys fan. It's like they keep giving you hope. <laughs> and, then they keep, <laughs> and then they keep slashing my throat over and over again. They're right, right within striking distance. They just can't get any closer. It's so frustrating. It's like oh, that. they could have called a violation right there. Coming Not, up. Oh, I've seen it all the way. They're going to call a foul on, on Hector. Rivera comes in and gets the steal. Hector commits the foul. Nice play by Rivera there. Hopefully this, uh, they could take advantage here and get closer to uh, single digits, which I'm not sure if they've been. Have they no, they cut it to within nine. Yeah. They cut it to within nine right before the end of the third quarter, and then 
Bradham hit that, that throat slashing three. Rivera try to go, try to cross over. Chopper. James. James, that's a good shot. Jumper, no good. Hurley, you gotta grab the basketball, Hurley. You can't tip, you can't just tip it. Volleyball. Going back the other way, out of control. And they're gonna call a foul on Rivera, who definitely didn't get position. And now Bradham's gonna go to the line for two. It's like the like the X you think is gonna keep changing. And it <laughs> so it's promises, but But they keep doing that one little they yeah. keep doing that one little extra nice thing that keeps you hanging around. And then right then. You know. <laughs> They buy you a box of chocolates. Right. They get you a flower. Talking about no one's Valentine's ever bought Day. me a flower, but I thought I could maybe, remember. Maybe they don't want to get you stung. Maybe, <laughs> maybe that's what it is. Maybe they don't want you to get stung it's by bees. Oh my goodness! I'm not really a flower because then you gotta work after that. You gotta, you gotta keep it alive. You gotta, you gotta water it. Just give me chocolate. Something I eat and it's all done. <laughs> Something you can enjoy. Yeah. What am I gonna do with the flowers? Just look at it. It's nice. It's pretty. No, it's just. But Symbolism. It's just, it's just. Oh, you brought me flowers. <laughs> nice impression there. <laughs> All right, seventy-four to sixty-two. We have a little stop in the action. Referee timeout here, and looks like talking to the coach. Yeah. I don't know what uh, Bunker Hills coach got to be upset about. Up by twelve points. Meanwhile, uh, Hanley's talking to Rivera over there. I'm not sure. I'm not honestly not sure what the conversation is about. There was a collision. The foul was committed by number three, Atia Rivera. It was their fourth. And um, this game. Star Bradham at the line for two. Both teams really not in foul trouble. First, first three throws a miss. <laughs> Hurley, get a box out Lana Guerrero right now. You got to put a body on her. That's what I mean. There. Bristol's not putting bodies on people. On shots, you gotta get more physical. <laughs> Down 13, Katera James, the miss. I'm dying over oh, here. Oh, rebound, the putback attempt is knocked away. Going back the other way, Bradham can't get it to fall. Rivera, buzzing like a bee, round the back. That to the rack, floater Ooh. no good. Hurley looks like she's going to p pick up like a bar of soap or something. Like she, <laughs> she just can't get it. I like the better such an urgency from uh, from Rivero. Just they can't execute towards the end. There's Abby Hurley goes after the basketball like a thing. It's like a hot potato. Like she's scared <laughs> to touch it. Just try to get out of that hands quickly. Either tap it or just throw it up. Yeah, get it. Grab it. Grab the basketball. There you go. Chopper. She needs to uh, contact with KJ. Contact goal football players get a little bit of stick stick on on their fingers. <laughs> Something. Rivera with the basketball, looking to set up. Twelve on the shot clock. Chopper for three, way Ooh. off, way off the mark. That's not her shot. Going back the other way. That ball's going to sail out of bounds. You know the Bulldogs since the open since the opening get go, Megan. I really don't think they played. I, don't, I really don't think they played good basketball. They've had a lot of mistakes. They've turned the ball over. The, the only thing is, Bristol's given them a lot of second, second and third chance opportunities, and Bristol on the offensive end, I mean, they've really not, they really haven't been that great. The thing so. is, when it's key moments, Bunker Hill takes advantage, and Bayhawks. Bunker Hill's making the play. Yeah. Chopper for three, short, rebounded by Rivera, put back, up nice. and in. Down 11. I'm not how sure how she saw the basket there, but she was able to get it up. Yeah, she was able to get that and get the bounce. If you're Bristol, you got to put the pressure on. Pressure on at half court. Ooh. Loose ball. Got to get down for it. Coming up. Oh, Marshall there just too late. Pack this slow to get up. And Afuji, F.A. Afuji with, with the bucket. And that's been the story of the whole game. Every time it looks like there's going to be a light at the end of the tunnel for Bristol, that light goes off. Because Bristol's had their chances to climb back into this one deeper. They just. Just can't execute during a. Yeah. At momentum key, killers. At, yeah, at key moments. Bunker Hill's making the big defensive play. 
Bristol's, Bristol's turned the ball over. Well, Katera James for three. Can't get it to go home. When you give yourself one chance, but then you give another team three, four chances, it's not going to end up good for you. That's the thing. Stolen. Oh, almost stolen away. Oh. Yo, y'all know up there. And you can see the frustration on the faces of the Bayhawks right now. Amaya Marshall showing her frustration. This has just been a frustrating game. If you're Coach Jay Hanley, Marshall's this is a game where you just want to rip your hair out because. A bright side, they did find another role player with a chopper. Yeah, they definitely, um, they're definitely going to need it. With the loss of Fortin, we don't know if she's what her status is for the rest of the season. Let's just face it. But it's good to see that they do have um, a few, that they have themselves a little bit of a bench and a little bit more depth. And um, I think Chopper, Abby Chopper is only going to get better the more she gets acclimated. More I mean, she she's played a lot of minutes today. She gets When she gets more comfortable and finding her shot. It looks like a... Finding her niche within the offense or finding her niche within this team. They can definitely use her size, especially on the inside. I don't know why they were playing her on the guards. Yeah. Well, she seems to be more of a perimeter player for them. I mean, she's even playing up top in the zone, and she's playing more on the perimeter. But I could definitely see her um, more on the inside. Another yeah. technical foul. So, again, Looks like uh, another technical foul in Bristol with two free throws by Katera James. And they're down 11. I think Bristol, it's them against the clock right now. They're, they're going to need to be more efficient on offense. We're also thinking it's them against the boards. Do they, do they want enough to fight? For the rebound. Need a good shot here. Need a need a good efficient shot here. Chopper. Mar Marshall's calling for on a three-point line. Cross court pass. Marshall for three. Looks like Oh the, goodness. Like got that's just not the shot you want. Katera James inside. Takes it back out. Oh, mm -hmm. And that's what I'm talking about. That turnover. Just when you have a chance to cut into the lead, another turnover, <laughs> you know? Bradham for three. No good. Rebounded by James. KJ with the basketball. Let's see what she's got. Kicks it to the corner. Atia Rivera. Oh, nice cross-court pass. Chopper. India Coat. Can't get it to go. James nice is there. Nice by James. And they're within nine. But there's 2.12 left in the clock. James has been taking advantage of the inside all game. Just keep on inside. Yeah, she's really... Um, She's really pulled her weight here in the second half. She's the she's the key reason why the, why this team is still, still within yes, yeah, still within striking distance. You can't say she's had a lack of effort, and she's definitely um she's definitely been scoring, and they needed her. But like earlier, Marsha was calling for uh, more fouls for I guess she believes Bunker Hill is uh, pushing off a little bit, and then they got the tech right after. Yeah, and that's their second tech of the game. Hanley has to be talking to his team now. This, you can't make mistakes. Take it play by play. Keep chipping away. And it seems like they've been chipping away here and there, here and there, but just. Right when they get close. Right when it's nine yeah. points, ten points. They make they mess up or Bunker Hill <laughs> takes makes a dagger. Bristol's been trailing the whole game, and the Bulldogs have extended this lead to, up as, to as many as 17 points on a few occasions. And Bristol keeps fighting right back, but they haven't been able to cut it down to within less than nine. So let's see if they can do that. It's going to be Bulldogs basketball. I like this five to five he's pointing out. Chopper, Rivera, Marshall, James. I think if the, anyone well, it's can get more it of a, it's more of a speed lineup. Yes. I'm surprised he did not point um, Lee and Score out there. And now Bristol matched it up man to man. Now going to look to trap. You get a trap at half court. I'm surprised. Trying to force Hector a turnover. Didn't, Hector didn't pass it. it has 40, 21. Bristol off. playing nice. man to man. Katera James with the steal. Going back the other way off the glass. Oh. oh, she put it up way too early. She took off. She took that shot from too far away. Should have went closer. Yeah, that's tough. She rushed that shot. You can tell. Well, she had Rivera right behind her, but Rivera doesn't have the size to get the rebound. And they're going to call a foul on the floor. And now we have a technical. Did they just call a technical on? 
And I think they just called a technical foul on Tia Rivera. They just teed her up, and she's going out of the game. That's and she fouled. And she fouled out. That's not what Bristol needs right now. It was their key facilitator, where a team that seemed already st stagnant a little bit on the offense. Now who's gonna wait? KJ bring it up. Then you. Yeah, of course. Lose. But do you lose? Uh, but still, you can't afford. You know. You're better. You're one of your better players. One of your better scorers, or one of your, you know, just better all-around players. One of your players, period. You can't afford to lose players. Mm -hmm. And uh, either way, Atia Rivera, she fouls out. That's her fifth foul. That's why she's out of the game. But that's a technical foul. I'm not sure if something was said or what the what the case is. Still waiting to see who uh, who Bayhawks bring in to replace her. And at the line right now is Adana. Adana Hector, number 12. Big game for her today. And she misses the first free throw. Minute 41, so the Bayhawks playing against the clock as it is. And now they'll give up possibly an, a point here, which they do. Okay, so they called a technical foul, and now she's going to have foul shots. Now these are the two. These are the two foul shots. Now she makes these two. I think. I think it's pretty all. It's uh, good. Is over. Unless they get four threes in a row. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, Hector showing her shooting stroke from the free throw line, making three of four. 12-point lead and the basketball. Oh, Rivera's not out. I thought that was her fifth. It says fifth up on the scoreboard, but she's back in. I was wondering they weren't bringing no one in for her. You got to get a steal if you're Bristol. 7 on the shot clock. Bristol trying to hold. Putting it up is Hector. Nice. Going and getting the rebound is Marshall. Good rebound there. Rivera. Leading the break, gets it to James. James up strong. She, James forced it there. She had two people on her. She was closed in. She should have passed it back on the outside. And they're going to call up. What is the call? I think uh, offensive foul on James. Charge. And that's just the story yeah, of the game. The Bulldogs get in position. 12-point lead. And like I said, Bristol's hung around, hung around. But it just seemed like the Bulldogs, they can't you know, didn't want to take away, didn't want to, you know, didn't, to didn't want to run away with it. No, they they, they've, let, they've let Bristol hang around. They're lucky that Bristol just hasn't executed. When it, when it comes to when momentum starts turning to the Bayhawks' uh, side, Bucket Hill does not let it last long. They either make a play or Bayhawks fumble it. Exactly. Or the, or the Bayhawks, you know, create, you know, either have a turnover or just a. And it's not bad opportunities. Again, again, right next to the basket, they just can't get the spin. Interesting to see. Uh, you mean they're just missing shots? Yeah. <laughs> Don't try to sugarcoat it. They're just not getting the spin. No, they're just not making the shot. Well, 23, they're getting they're, there and they're. They're rushing shots underneath there. They're not using the glass. They're well, the leader scorer from the first half is coming back in. Let's see if that makes a difference, which I'm not sure if it's already too late. Coming up on a minute to play, 80 to 68. Now you get to see if you're going to foul here or not. Bulldogs play team basketball. I love the way they move without the basketball and the way they move the basketball around. They move in and out. That ball is not staying in one place, that's for sure. Going to the rack, and that's probably going to do it. That is going to do it off the glass. Nice job there by Miss Adana Hector. I think I'd be close to 30 points this game. Oh, for sure. The lobbing in. Abby Hurley going to put it up and can't get it to fall. Double her average of a little bit over 14 points per game. Having a career night here. Did not help that uh, 
that the Bayhawks were missing uh, Jada Fortin, even though they gained a player in in uh, Chopper. Still, you can't replace you can't replace a player like Fortin with just one player. You got, it has to be you a team effort. You can't replace thirty six points. No, you can't replace thirty six <laughs> points. Yeah, like, it definitely. has to be a team effort, and I'm not sure if, uh, if they had enough uh, team players tonight. Well, it's not for a lack of effort. 82 to 70. Bristol hung in there. They just had they had their opportunities, just missed a lot of bunnies underneath, missed some layups. What's the second second uh, game back from, was it four days off? So hopefully they can pull this together. and. Nice pass underneath. Ripped away. Four on the shot clock. And going to be a shot clock violation, but... That, those final seconds are going to tick off. And unfortunately for Bristol, that, that's going to be it. You mean you can't get... Why, why are you even going to put the time on there? Game's over. Hey, one of them can make a make a three and uh, pad his stats a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> You're outrageous. 82-70. I think the Bayhouse can use this as a lesson. Look, uh, look at the mistakes of boxing out. I can't. I don't know what we're doing right now. I can't. I can't believe we're actually going to put time up on, on the clock for this. I hey, cannot. those .8 seconds are important. <laughs> I can be the game changer. All right, they can inbound the g basketball, and that is going to be it. 82 to 70. The Bulldogs come into LaFrance Gymnasium and take a win. It seems like the uh, pressure cooker didn't get to Bunker Hill today. <laughs> it, did not, it did not, but it almost did. Bristol hung in there. Were well, they playing again? The they're playing again at home Thursday against University of Connecticut. Uh, to see if they can turn things around quickly here. Yeah, a quick turnaround. They play on Thursday night. We'll have the game here on FRC Media. We'll be live streaming on our Bristol. Community College Athletics page, but that's going to be it. 82 to 70, our Bayhawks player of the game. Today is going to be Abby Hurley. Abby was uh, one of the leading scorers and definitely had definitely had the most rebounds out there, wouldn't you say, for for Bristol? I mean, it wouldn't be hard. I would, based off Bunker Hills, how much they have versus how much we had. I mean. <laughs> Abby Hurley is going to be our Bayhawks player of the game. So that's going to do it. 82 to 70 from the France Gymnasium. That's the final score here. Bayhawks will fall to the Bulldogs. Stay tuned for the Bristol men's basketball team taking on the uh, Bunker Hill Bulldogs. So for David Cardozer and Megan Holden, we'll be back with the Bristol men's game in just a little while. <laughs>